Hey guys, what's going on? So, if you saw my uh, review of the AMD A10, then you're here, you know. I really like it. It's pretty good. And I thought, well, I ordered a new fan coming in, the Hyper 212, and I thought I would compare the temperatures between the stock cooler on the A10 running at 3.8 gigahertz versus the Hyper 212. Now, on here, the turbo core was on auto, so it would fluctuate between 3.8 to lower to about 4 gigahertz was what I dropped the turbo core to. It goes to 4.2, but I set it on 4.0. Uh, 4 and I disabled that so it would run at 3.8 gigahertz steady throughout. So, here I'm going to run Prime95. Uh, let's see, torture test, I'm going to set this on blend, and then I'm going to check the temperatures, and then, yeah, so right now the temps are at 27, I'll zoom you in, just a second, the temperatures are at 27, 35, and 26, and then 26 and negative 8, I don't know why that's negative 8, but I've got... CPU Z down here, and I've got Prime 95 here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and hit. Let me tilt this a bit. There. Uh, blend. Test them with everything and lots of RAM. I'm going to kick that up. And now, I'm going to go and take a shower because I want to take a shower. And that'll probably be about, I don't know, 30, 40 minutes. So, when we come back, my hair will be wet, and we'll have some temperatures to check. To bleh, to check. Alright guys, we're back. My hair is wet and messy. But, it is now 12.35am. We started at 11.43pm. So that's about, just about 50 minutes or so. I'll zoom, bring you around so you can see. Uh, it is still running, and there were my temperatures, 58, 68, and 33. And you can see down here, 3.8, it is capped off there, at 38 multiplier, and there's my voltage, 1.312, 1.32, so forth. So now I'm going to, well actually, I want you to hear the fan, so I'm just going to set this down here. So with uh, that blue f that blue light was a fan pulling inward, so that might attribute to the noise a little bit. But that's the noise in there right now. And those are the temperatures. So now we are going to cut to the Hyper 212 uh, results. So I'm not going to have the installation because that's a big pain in the butt, and nobody wants to see a big pain in the butt unless that's your fetish. But it's probably not. So so yeah. Something I would like to add. I want to see how quickly after turning off Prime 95 it cools down to its standard temperature. So I'm going to zoom this in because I don't. Where's the zoom thing? There it is. Okay, now keep an eye on that second temperature. And I'm going to. Where is it? Stop. Okay, so it is now stopped. And let's see how long it takes those temperatures to drop. Ooh, we hit 70. 65. 64, 62, I also the GPU temperature went up slightly, which is a bit odd, but I'm not going to worry about it too much. Okay, temperature 1 is in check, CPU usage is like 2%, 3%, hardly any at all. Alright, we are in check, and temperature 3 is uh, 33 degrees, so it's not too bad. So now you see, let me back out again. Uh, excuse me. You see that the temperatures um, do get quite high on full load. This was running about 50 minutes, kind of close to an hour, uh, at 3.8 gigahertz. And the temperature is 68. I wouldn't 
have turbo core on if you're cautious about temperatures. If you're using the stock fan, I would leave turbo core off if you're doing things that require all of the CPU because it does get very hot. Well, maybe not very hot, but it gets quite warm for me. It's a bit warm for, you know, I'm not comfortable with it. So, now we are going to go to the Hyper 212 results, which won't be tonight because I'm tired, and my hair, which is already messy, will be dry, but then messier, and then we'll cut to when it's not messy and when I don't have things to do. So, I will see you in a minute. Hey guys, we're back. So, today I got the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus in. And something kind of threw me for a loop when I was installing it. It says it supports socket FM1 and AM3+, and then down here, or let's see, here it has the different AMD sockets. Uh, but it says AM2, 2+, and 3. And then there it says 3+. And so I was kind of curious, like, FM2? I mean, it supports FM1, I don't know. That might have just been me, you know, being weird. But anyway, it is in here. It was a pain in the butt to install because I had no idea what the hell I was doing. However, it's in, and so far my temperatures look nice. So I'm going to zoom you in. You can have a look. There we are. 26, 30, 25, 27, and negative 9. I don't know why that's a negative number. So now what I'm going to do is zoom this out a little bit. How about that background? Uh, let's pull up Prime 95. And this is going to be blend like it was last time. I'm going to hit OK. And I believe I left it on about... What was it? 50 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go leave this for 50 minutes. I'm going to go do something. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. But... When we return, we shall see what the temperatures are. Yay. Alright guys, we are back, and I am very impressed with this. So far, like so much. I'm going to zoom you in on the temperatures right now. As it is going, the 595 is still active. Creaking, creaking sound. And... Look at those temperatures. Look at that. 41, 48, 29, 28, and 9. Uh, but and during the whole time I was watching this, like I would glance over, this temperature here, temperature 2, the hottest one, never got uh, to 50. It was always below 50, which is very impressive. I am very happy with that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this, where is it, stop, yes, running 42 minutes, that's not bad, let's see how long it takes for this to cool off, so I'm going to zoom this in, let's see how long it takes for this to get to a, a lower temperature, I want you to hear the fan too, so, ah, well, let's wait a second, ah, there we go. So, look at that, we are now at 40, 39 on this hardest core. Alright, so I'm going to zoom this, ah, wrong way, zoom this out, take this off, and I want you to have a listen to the fan, to the Hyper 212. All around, it does not sound too bad at all. Like, it's not silent, but it's it's not a bad white noise. This is at, uh, by the way, this is this was running at the 3.8 uh, gigahertz flat without the turbo core. Very nice. So basically, what I'm saying is, if you have an A10 or any other thing, what was that weird gap? I don't know. If you have an A10, then I seriously recommend getting a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Plus. 
I don't know about the Evo, I'm sure those are the same thing. Uh, yeah. Definitely recommend it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go down below and leave a like, because I like likes, but I don't like like likes. You, you, you get it, right? You, you do? Okay. I was worried there for a second. So, if you want to keep following me, go up top, go down below, wherever it is, and hit that subscribe button. And, yeah. Thanks. See ya.